This is the first book of Thessalonians, chapter 5. I'll start from verse 6. It quotes, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power, the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is going to be here comes the trump of war, but the foolish ones dance to it. And the whole idea of this lesson actually came up while doing the teaching outside yesterday. And, you know, the spirit was on me and, you know, I, I made mention of some things that, you know, now we, we, we are hearing a lot of things and these are actually sounds of wars, you know, but the foolish ones dancing to the sound of war and you know when it's war time like i want you to imagine you know a scenery of a, of a of a movie you know the ancient times when you would have people stand on the on the on the high tower you know watching for enemies invasions and once they spot an enemy or someone in, in and some invaders you know they sound a trumpet which you know gives you that signal that there is danger close and what do the people do? You know, they start, you know, getting into formation. They run up, you know, to pick up their armors, to pick up their swords, to pick up their helmets and prepare themselves to, to stand against the, the danger that's coming, you know. So, um, you know, that's, I was saying that at the lesson yesterday in which that's the spirit we're actually meant to be now, you know. But unfortunately, you know, people are not really understanding the sound of war. You know, and it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that has actually, you know, purposely closed to their eyes. You know, that's regarding to the book of um, Isaiah 29, 10, you know. So as I read earlier, this is the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, 6. It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Now, let's go look the meaning of the word sober, in which sober, this is the meaning, it says, not affected by alcohol, not drinks, okay, serious, sensible and solemn, okay. So, if you talk of not being affected by alcohol or drink in a spiritual way, you know, wine actually represents many parts of the scriptures wine actually represents you know philosophies and doctrines of devils you know so in this time we're not meant to be to be affected by these doctrines and philosophies you know the wrong teachings that's why we say that here in the great millstone we have the 100 percent truth you know according to this according to the scripture you know we we have to be be perfect as the way yahweh shah is perfect and it doesn't mean physically, but it means in this truth. There is a 100% truth. Yes, there is a 100% truth, you know. And that's one of the, the, the instruments, you know. These devils, they use, they try to push it to you that there is no 100% truth. No one knows it all. Yes, we don't know everything, you know. We prophesy in parts, you know. But the truth that can lead us to, to, to everlasting life, according to the scriptures, we have the truth of the scriptures, you know. The scriptures has been broken down to the great millstone, you know. So I can boldly say this because there is a hundred percent truth. So anyway, 
um, getting influenced by other doctrines of the devils, like, you know, you have this wakitake Hebrew Israelites still calling upon the name of Jesus in 20, 2021, right at the end of 2021. You know, you have other people still calling on the name Ahaya. That doesn't really mean anything, you know. Um, you have um, you have all different kinds of doctrines, you know, telling you that the MOTB, which is you know the mark, you know, is not is not um the microchip where it is. You know, they tell you it's every other thing, but except from the truth. So we are actually out here, you know, we're sounding the war, the the, the alarms, the trump of you know the trumpet of wars, you know, letting you know that you know. We are about to step into 2022 in a few days, you know, and it's really going to be all hell breaking loose, you know. And as the book of Isaiah says, you know, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their time. Those who don't have this complete wisdom and knowledge and understanding, they are going to break down spiritually and mentally, you know. So this is not the time to be drunken with the wines of Babylon, you know. Then he says, being serious, sober means being serious, you know, being serious, you know, he says, solemn, important, you know, he said, demanding or characterized by careful consideration or application, acting or speaking sincerely and in earnest rather than in a joking or half-hearted manner, you know, this is the spirit we really need to be. He says, sensible. The word sensible means practical, you know, done or chosen in accordance with wisdom or prudence, like to be of benefits, you know, practical and functional rather than decorative. Wow, this is beautiful, you know, it says practical and functional rather than decorative, you know, then let's go to the last word, solemn. It says dignified, serious, formal and dignified, characterized by deep sincerity so this is the spirit we should find ourselves now this is not the time to be sober um sorry this is um that was a slip of tongue this is not the time to be f to, to be foolish man this is not the time to be folly you know in which you have many people are actually in that spirit of being folly you know folly let's quickly look it up say folly it says madness folly insanity craziness foolery you know and that's actually um it says um stupidity silliness foolishness that's that's the spirit that we actually find ourselves in this um most especially in this um in this season of super um, super, um saturnalia okay this season of saturnalia of the worship of satan himself of human sacrifice you know this is the spirit that's actually you know overwhelming the place and well i had a video that i wanted to show but i didn't put it on on deck so i wouldn't search for it now you know you have many jakes like on the parts of africa you know this season they are just going all wild and crazy you know they're dancing partying and you know they, they, they don't even see the 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 the, the they don't see the, the wickedness ahead. They don't see the, the danger ahead. So we, as the watchmen, were sounding a trumpet of war and we informing them of what's actually coming, you know, but they, they refuse it. Then this is the meaning of being sober-minded. Mind, mind, minded, you know, it's just what we, we just read. It says, see, we are sensible and composed, you know. That's what we want to find ourselves doing in this time. Now, I just want to read a little bit of, you know, an introduction to your 2022. This is um, allnewspipeline.com, which is a nice um, link to, to read certain articles that are not censored, you know. So it's, this, is, this was published December the 26th, 2021. It says, why 2022 will be like, unlike, will be unlike any year in our lifetime. The purge of conservatives in our military has set up our extermination as the globalists march in lockstep towards total um towards worldwide tyranny, you know. And you know, America is actually the head pushing the rest of of these other European countries, you know. America is actually Babylon the Great, 
America is the one, you know, getting these people drunk with a wine of fornication that goes back into their philosophies, democracy, and all this crap that they push their laws, you know. So he says, with the year 2022 just days away and Joe Biden's first year in office about to be heaved into the trash bin of history, the signs that 2022 will go down as one of the history books surrounds us. You know, why Michael Sidney C um, Snyder over at the Economic Collapse blog recently warns in two different stories, if all of this seems familiar, that is because we have seen it before. And yeah, you can go read that, you know, he goes back, you know, history repeating itself. And it says, this is going to be a really dark winter for both America and the entire planet. 2022 should also be the year that the conspiracy theorists are proven right once and for all about what the final destination is of the unfolding madness the globalists have been pushing upon us for decades. So, you know, all these um, so-called conspiracy theorists in which we are, we are also categorized in that, in that, in that group, you know, um, or everything, you know, we've been saying for all this long time, you know, they are all coming to pass and they're actually really looking foolish, you know, but the majority are actually foolish. They're not seeing what's the, the writing on the wall. It says with some more, excuse me, what did I just push? It says... It says, with some more of the recent stories, which ain't very strongly for more madness and chaos ahead of America. The world being this story over at the Sun reporting World War Three fears continue to grow after Russian President Vladimir Putin, you know, approved plans for urgent mass graves. Why Putin has moved 100, 100 of tanks and tens of thousands of bodies to the Ukraine border in the past few weeks. All of that is happening at a time when Joe Biden's woke military has launched a purge upon conservatives and Christians. So to those who are actually, you know, those those um those Hebrew Israelites who are saying that um the mark of the beast, the MOTB is um Christianity, you know, we're actually saying more that the powers that be are actually, you know, pushing Christianity to the wall. If it were possible for them, they'll take out Christianity, anything concerning the Bible, because that's where the truth is actually is. The truth is in the Bible, but these Christians don't actually have the truth, you know? They actually follow the lies that the, the, the slave masters has pushed down into their truth. It says, why also here in, uh, um, why also here on the home front, three U.S. military generals won civil war may be triggered by the 2024 election, though many believe will never make it that far. So you can see even those who are not in this truth, they're beginning to see that <laughs> we are not even, we can't make it far to 2023, talk less of 2020, 2024, you know. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing. 2022 um 2022 is going to be the um is going to be the, the 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 last year we're going to you know have to suffer all these devils in power man you know so it says and with what's happening elsewhere all around the world giving the american people a very strong reason to stay especially vigilant as 2021 draws to a close and 2022 rushes in rushes in as the globalists continue to march in lockstep towards one world government tyranny. It's now or never for freedom to rise up and stand strong in America or we'll be watching the entire world fall in 2022 in which, you know, all you can do in this time is not, you know, this, um, just like the book of um, Ephesians, is it chapter six, you know, it tells you that for our weapons are not carnal, you know, um, for our we for the weapons of our warfare, just roughly, paraphrasing and not, not canal for you know we, we're fighting against powers and principalities in high places you definitely gonna need the power of the most high yahaba shem yahushai that's why you know we're faithfully doing this work with all our heart you know we're concentrated only on this you know because this is where our salvation comes from you know and just regarding back to the book of first Thessalonians 5 6 that we just read you know so you can go read 
the rest you know there are lots of things going on you know it says it says reporting that according to research done in 2020 the cv emic is associated associated with highly significant level of psychological distress with so-called experts claiming reducing the adverse effect on mental health should be a top priority for international public health maybe they should start with the truth about this entire emic the vs unveiled to deal with it with it that aren't working and the global is push forward global government that millions of americans can clearly see but the rest of the world are blinded to it you know anyway there are lots of people saying all this bs that the uh, the 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 powers that be they're pushing shoving down our throats you know there are lots of people saying it in all parts of the world you know it says and with the full-scale indoctrination of america's children into the globalist one world government communist philosophy on an incredibly crucial part of their plan to control the future with fully brainwashed younger generations easy for them to mold into their obedient slaves why free thinking americans and people across the world are their worst enemies the globalists love those who can't see what's unfolding before their own eyes as max Slavo reports you know there is a lot going on and these are actual signs of of uh, these are trumpets of war you know these are trumpets of evil right at the front there is nothing beautiful about what's about to happen the only thing beautiful is the salvation of of the elect the salvation of 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 the of the great multitude of israel that's going to be saved you know the one and for the four thousand and the mult and the rest of the multitude you know in which we're praying fervently to be part of that number you know this is what you have to do man this is the only thing you have to do. Be sober-minded. This is not the time to start dancing around like monkeys and start doing all crazy, stupid BS, you know? And this is a video a brother sent to me yesterday. And I went to look it up. And this video was posted by an IUIC member that's um, six days ago. And, I'm, hey, I'm not here to, you know, make mockery of these people. I'm not here to, to start up, you know um uh, whatever you know but this is just to pull out an example of you know the spirit we're not actually meant to be so if i get it right this was actually published six, six days ago in which so you can see it's clearly israel united in christ and you know, this is a congregation you can listen to the voice behind you have women children and this is actually their church you know and this is this is the spirit these people are actually <laughs> and this is not i'm not saying that dancing is bad i'm not saying you know hanging around and having a good time is bad you know but this is a congregation. This is not what to be what um, the leaders of that church should be teaching or preaching to to their congregation. You know, I also saw another video always, you know, with this congregation, this gathering. You know, this one was posted, I believe, in March or April. Sorry, it was posted in April. You know, there is nothing bad in having a good time, you know, celebrating together. But, you know, this is not the spirit you want to find yourself now. Like here in Great Millstone, you know, this is not the spirit. This is not the time for all these things. You know, we will do all these things in the kingdom. That's why we're putting our trust in the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. You know, our hearts are not set on this kingdom. We're praying for the will of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, to be done on this on this kingdom. You know. So let's watch. <laughs> which the jake knows how to dance anyway i give him for that but you know this is the gathering this is um i i s um i c i u i c so israel united in christ and this is this is the spirit they actually find themselves now which this is not the spirit to be in the spirit of folly 
And that's the gathering you can see. That's the gathering of those people, you know, all decked out, you know, beautiful vests, gold and all that thing, you know. These people already, you know, they already formed their kingdom on earth without Yahweh Shai. <laughs> so anyway, man, this is not the spirit you find yourself, most especially when, you know, the men of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, the watchmen, they are actually on the top of the tower and they're sounding trumpets of war. This is what Esau is already planning for your people, man. Hey, so you can see the enemies are busy, you know, steadily, <laughs> steadily preparing, you know, <laughs> war, you know, preparing wickedness, you know, but the people are actually in the spirit of folly, you know, they are not sober, you know, they are not concentrated on anything, you know, they're not seeing what's coming, you know, they think it's all, yeah, it's all love and peace, it's all cool, you know, 2022 is going to be better Hey, 2022 is not going to be better, man. 2022 is going to be heavy destruction and wickedness, you know? So you want to find your spirit prepared to be able to handle all what's about to come, you know? You want to man up. You want to start preparing yourself and preparing your spirit for the days are evil, just like the book of Ephesians 5.15 tells you, you know? So this is the book of Titus. Titus, I'll read chapter 1. Read from verse 7. It says, For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of Yahweh, not self willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no, stri no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, and temperate, man. You know? This is the spirit you should find yourself now, you know, most especially now that, you know, many, many brothers, many brothers are going to be needing help, you know, many brothers are going to, you know, lose their places, you know, there are lots of things that are going to be going on, persecution of many, you know, so this is the time, you know, you know, and the scripture tells you that um, charity covers a whole lot of sins, you know, so this is the time you want to be hospitable to your, to, to your brothers, you know. This is the time you want to, you, 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 you really want to be, um, you want to, you want to be sober, just, holy and temperate, not giving to, you know, all that madness, you know, dancing and all that thing, you know, it says, holding fast the faithful word as he has, he has been taught that he may be able to sound, he may, that he may be able by sound doctrine but to exhort and to convince the gainsayers, you know. And that's what many of these Hebrew Israelite camps are not doing, you know. The faithful words that they were taught, which was this true name of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shai, and the right doctrine that they had access to get from the true teachers, you know. Their spirit tells them that these are the true teachers, but, you know, out of their pride and out of their, their wicked wickedness, you know, they, 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 they are not doing all this. They are not preaching sound doctrine, you know. Verse 10, it says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially day of the circumcision. And one it speaks about day of the circumcision, speaking about day of the house of Israel, you know. So not all Israel are going to be saved. That's why two thirds of Israel in the land of Babylon are going to be destroyed, you know. It says, Whose mouth must be stopped, who subverts whole houses, 
teaching things which they ought not for filthy local sake, you know. And we don't want to be in that spirit, man. We don't want to start teaching wickedness and teaching false doctrine, you know, folly, dance, be, 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 be merry or whatever. Hey, it's the sound of, it's the trumpet of war, man, you know. You wouldn't listen to the trumpet of war and start dancing to it, you know. That's what a foolish man would do. A wise man would start up, stand up quickly, grab his sword, you know, pick up his helmet, pick up his um, his um, armor, you know, get ready, get f get informations and prepare for the danger ahead, you know. Let me get a couple more scriptures and close on, on this. Um, anyway, next chapter. You know, there are lots of scriptures, you know, telling us on being sober in these times, you know. So I'll read one and two. He says, this is Titus 2, 2. I'll read one more and it says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity and in peace, you know. But the only, the only aged men that we're seeing that are doing this are the true elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, you know. Many of the rest, they are all, you know, bogged out, man. With all due respect, man, they're bogged out, you know, teaching all mad doctrines, you know. Take a look at IUIC, man. This is what their, their leader, this is what he supports, man. This is what their leader supports, man. Check all this madness out. This is what this man supports, man. Check all this out, you know. And there's a lot of... There's a lot of Masonic signs in their dressings, you know, in their cloaks like Superman, you know. This is a congregation of IUIC, man. And as I repeat, I'm not doing this, you know, to send shots or whatever. I'm just... You know, speaking the truth the way it is, you know. If you like it, you receive it. If you don't like it, man, you can go join any other camp you want. You know, you can just, you know, get the F out, man. You know, we're actually teaching this truth. And we know that this truth, many are called, but few are chosen, you know. Now, in order to close this, just speak up. Because there is time for everything anyway. Let's get that. There is time for everything. That is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There is time for everything, you know. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. It says, to everything there is a reason, there is a season and a time for it to every purpose under heaven. Under the heaven, you say, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You know, there is a time for every dumb thing on earth, you know. It says a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. In which in this situation, many brothers should take note of this verse 6, you know. Esau is going to be coming with heavy, heavy sanctions, you know. Heavy, heavy duty things, man, you know, in which you'll you'll be left only with the choice of either a bowing to the beast, um, to the to the system, you know, bowing to the beast, the system, or you know, following the words of the most high Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which is you know, a time to gain and a time to lose, a time to get and again a time to lose. It says a time to reign and a time to sue, a time to keep silence and a time to keep uh, to speak, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace, man. This is the time of war. We'll get peace in the kingdom. We'll get peace in the kingdom. This is a time of war. You would be foolish, you know, hearing the trumpets of war being sounded by the watchmen and you're dancing to it. It says, What profit at he that walketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which Yahweh Shem Yahshai hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it, you know, it says, he had made everything beautiful in his time, also he had set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that 
the power is made from the beginning of the end um, to the end. So, hey, there is a time for everything, you know. There is a time to be merry and a time to be sober, man, you know. A time to gather and a time to let go, you know. Now, let me read from the book of... Um, I'll read from the book of... Um, Anyway, we were, let me just continue with this Titus chapter 2. This is verse 6. It says, young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. You know, we read what was the meaning of sober-minded. We need to be sober-minded. This is not the time to be dancing and having shows. And also to the Sikaris that are making uh, musical videos and making shows and all that thing you know this is not the damn time man that's how you know who the real teachers are that's how you know who the true teachers are the true teachers are the teachers of great millstone you know we're not tolerating any of that crap in in, in gms because it's not the time for that you know this is being sincere man you know the watchman sees danger and he informs his people that hey there is danger ahead so the people could prepare but what these other leaders are doing is they're blowing trumpets of, of, of Mary and danger is right approaching, you know. Verse 12, it says, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world. So how should we live in this present world? <laughs> And we have to deny our ungodliness and worldly lust, just like I said, you know. All this crap is lost, man. This is all worldly lust. That they're all dressed in all these beautiful apparels and all these things, you know. This is all lost, man. All this crap that they're doing is all lost. Yes, man. You know? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There is nothing bad in dancing and having a little party or whatever. But this is not the time for these things, man, you know. He says, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. You know, this is not the time to, to build Israel. Israel will be built in the kingdom, you know. So, hey, these people, you better watch out who you're listening to, who you follow, because what is what what, what is written, it is written that, you know, if the, if the blind lead the blind, just roughly paraphrasing, they shall end up in a ditch together, you know. So let me just pick up one more scripture and close it up. This is the book of um, First Peter. First Peter 1. This is the book of First Peter chapter 1. I'll read verse 13. It says... Wherefore, guard up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought upon you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai. This is the time we should be so sober, praying, you know, and hoping. We are counted amongst the numbers of those who are going to escape the wickedness that is coming, the destruction that is coming, you know. And what is what what's what's said in the book of um, Ephesians chapter six? You know, put on your whole armor, your whole armor of salvation, armor of faith. You know, this is what we should be doing now. This is no time that we should be playing around, man. This is um. And when ESO starts sending all these robots to get your asses, I want to see if you're going to be dancing and doing all that BS that you're doing, you know. Because ESO is not going to be joking with anyone next year, you know. ESO is not going to be joking with anyone in, in, in a few days to come, you know. This is First Peter chapter 4, verse 7. It says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. <laughs> the, the scriptures are quite clear, man. 
you would you would never see the the, the the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, holding parties and having members dancing and all that thing. You'd not you'd never see us doing such, you know. They are constantly doing the work, you know, teaching the gospel day in, day out, you know, doing multiple videos in a day, you know. Blowing that trumpet and you know waking the the, the, the the waking the people up that hey there is danger right at head there is danger you know this is how to prepare men not holding um concerts doing musical videos and dancing jumping all around the place you know this is always first book of Peter go to the next chapter verse 8 it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour <laughs> let me read again it says be sober be vigilant okay because your adversary the devil as, an, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. You know, Esau knows that most of his um his military <laughs> refuse that that Vicky stuff. You know, so he doesn't give a fuck. You know anymore because he's already prepared. They have the AI is coming on their asses. You know, they show you the videos of the AI dogs. You know, pushing the Santa the Santa cat or whatever. You know taking um, gifts to different houses and all that thing. You know, they're coming very soon to, 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 to bust people's brain up, you know? Hey, these people do a diligent search, man. They've been on all these things for a long time. They do a diligent search, you know. But these people are all sleeping, man. Jake is sleeping, you know. They're, they're following blind leaders who are going to lead them into a ditch, you know. So, hey, this is the lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharu Kakodash. Shalom.